Hello to my subscribers. Uh, this is uh, Ocean Henry 6, Oscar Kilo Sierra Alpha. It's been quite a long time that I have made any videos, especially in English. But I had a, I've been quite busy, busy at the work, and also the Corona time is quite, quite too much computer time at the office. Office, so I haven't been so much interested on working or doing videos on after after work hours. But here's a short video uh, and uh, discussions about uh, remote operating my Kenbo Kenwood TS. 890s and I'll also I had my uh, radio now fixed for the audio problem that I have reported previously on my uh, videos here in YouTube. The, the manufacturer contacted me and asked me to ship the radio to the European Service Center and uh, they did the fixing of the processor unit so that there's no Ma this uh, machine or the or the rig generated a noise noise on the on the processor processor uh, circuit when when you are using the uh, processor on there. So uh, you can check my latest previous videos on that one to see how this problem occurred. But now it seems to be gone. At at least I'm I'm not able to any more. To, to generate that problem. So it was a it was a component problem or design problem on the rig and now it's been fixed. But on this video I have a little discussion about uh, how I'm remote operating my TS-890. It's located on my summer cabin and now I'm, now I'm at home, my home office and same time I'm running FT8 here and I just need to click, click on there. There's something, it's been Pretty nice uh, propagation to the US this day, today, and I'm operating the 60 60 meter mode, and it's running on the on the background there. But yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm I'm really happy with the radio and how it works, and ex especially now the remote operation is working nicely. I did a new setup at uh, my summer cabin, so I have a VPN connection to the my summer summer cabin or i can do it from any place with my laptop i have the vp on my laptop and i can connect connect to the radio and then i'm using the remote desktop to operate the ft ft8 mo modes or any other digital modes but it's quite simplified when you when you set up the VPN on there. I use this uh, Asus uh, manufactured uh, routers. I have a 4G network that I'm using at, at home and also at uh, summer cabin. I don't have a fiber or any any copper copper internet connection, so it's wireless connection with the. 4G mobile networks and it's it's works fine on the both both ends but basically I have a my laptop and on my laptop I have a VPN connection to that router and those Asus routers are quite nice because they support open VPN so there's built-in VPN server on those routers so it's quite easy to get the VPN accessed and it's very simplified I just start the open VPN application on my laptop and then I get the connections to the uh, my QTH on the on the summer cabin so basically my laptop always is on the local network on the summer cabins sub summer cabin network even I'm uh, I'm away from the summer cabin so but the computer thinks it is there so it makes everything very simplified so that I have the remote operation program for ds 8 90 running on the laptop screen and then I have my FT8 uh, remote desktop on on this bigger screen. It's the I use the VNC server system for the remote desktop. It's quite nice and works on any environment. I I'm running a Mac at my summer cabin. I I like iMac on there. I have this this computer running there and I have remote desktop 
desktop for that one. But it's nice now I'm connected to that local network in, in there via VPN and I have the desktop view of the Mac also where I have the FT8. And so far it's been running very nicely and uh, much easier with the VPN. You don't need to have open up any any firewalls or anything. Everything goes through the VPN connection and it works in whichever network or you are. If you are in the private network or if you are in the straight internet or whatever place, as long as the network allows the VPN connection be created, so. So then it's quite easy if you are in any any public network if there's just a VPN connection allowed and it's quite normal now on these days that it's allowed. Then I just use the VPN connection from the laptop and then I'm exactly working as, as I would work with the actual radio. And I, I can say definitely I love the way how, how Kenwood has set up the system. It's, it works very well haven't had any hiccups I have used on the, on the also on the SSP on the phone phone side and not only the digital models but it seems to be working perfectly and uh, also I'm uh, during this time I have set up a new antenna for my uh, QTH there I have a 160 meter a little bit over 160 meter long loop antenna a horizontal loop there and uh, I use a 41 balloon to feed it so it's uh, basically works in all all the bands from 160 meters to the six meters and I have operate now maybe two months on it uh, not not so much on the on the phone side um, but the di digital mode is and uh, I have compared I have this uh, uh, whiskey tree DZZ 5 band uh, trap dipole also for comparison of that one but in any any band it seems to be that uh, the 160 meter long loop horizontal loop antenna it's it's been placed somewhere in 11 meters 12 meters high it works better than the dip even the dipole now there's one US station coming from Texas. Yeah, but this, uh, this 60 meters, it's been working today pretty nicely. But I, I, I feel that the, uh, this, uh, this is for my Q, QTH, this has uh, been very nice uh, setup with this, this loop antenna also on. And I'm really satisfied with that one. Uh, hard to compare, of course, when I'm mainly operating the FT8, I cannot kind of compare. And, say to the, somebody on the other end and please 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 hold and i will, will switch the antenna and to compression but at least on the receiving i can see three dps or, or even six dps more on the receiving signals on 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 this loop antenna but yeah i just wanted to kind of uh talk quickly and say that uh, i'm i'm really satisfied with the radio now and uh and happy to own it and uh, every day I love it more and more and uh, it's it's very nice this remote operation function it's it works I, I feel I I have the exact like, same feeling when I'm I'm sitting with the radio on site or if I'm here on the remotely everything works, ni works nicely and the setup how how Kenwood has done this then if you use the center scroll of this your mouse you just put the put your arrow on the on the top of the different tuning models and then you scroll your mouse and it everything works perfectly it's quickly to change the frequencies and work it feels almost like if you are using real web webo and everything so i'm i'm really satisfied on that one and otherwise the radio is it's perfect it's perfect for me because i need to work from diff two different at least two different places and uh, the remote operation is working nicely and uh, tuner is perfect and no no issues or anything so like i have also told you on the some other videos that why i did choose the kenwood over a flex radio or over the ftdx uh, 101 it was the 
over the FTDX 101, of course, uh, the remote operation is not working so nicely on that one. Then you need to par buy extra components and stuff like that. You need this again, this type of box to, to be able to use the remote operation F on the FTDX. Uh, it's 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 pity on the it's nice radio, but then you need to always have an extra equipment to have it running and remotely and stuff like that. But on DS 8, 890. You have everything built in, so it's it's really nice. And uh, over the flex radio, still uh, many people are not using the tuner, but I feel that I have um, antennas that I use on multiple bands. I, I'm not a hard contester, so I don't. I'm not setting up every band different antenna and setting up the SVR on on. 1.1 on each band. I might have this like I have this multiband antenna. It's uh, it's across the all the bands now. It's uh, somewhere like 1.5 to uh, 2 the SVR. But anyway, you you can uh, you can use the tuner to tune it up on the if you want it. But anyway, the uh, the tuner on uh, Kenwood is it's perfect. It it's there's like nothing nothing over that one. I, I take the tuner of the Kenwood over any of the radios on the market at the moment because it's you can activate I have always the tuner on on and it's always on the on on the RX and the, on the TX so when you switch on the bands it always rem remembers everything and switches on the tune point al already when you have the R RX tune on all the time so the SWR is always nice without depending your antennas and it can I think it can do very, very, very bad SWR ratios. Also, I think you can get something like ten to one or eight to one at least to turn it on. But I never need that kind of. But anyway, it's fast and it's fast and it's working. And that was the main function and big difference on the over the flex radio. But that's it. I I don't have nothing else. I just wanted to give you a quick quick view on that one and see if there's. Uh, no, not nothing special coming on, but I have been sitting on this band now, maybe four hours or something a little bit over, and have got maybe 20, 30 QSOs to, to US, so 60 meters open today nicely. But yeah, uh, hopefully I have more time in the future to create more videos. I try to make also these English videos and I hope you can understand my language and stuff like that. But uh, 73s and I hope you subscribe my videos if you like them and uh, I try to get you more more of these in future and also from the actual actual ham sack, not from here on the remote remote position. But now today this is from the remote operation point. Uh, 73 is, this is Ocean 106, Oscar Kilo Sierra, closing out.